Hey folks, Chris, once again, welcome back to another video. And this is a video, these videos, I have not been, these videos I haven't been made in a while, which is a review on an actual prop. Now, I don't review paper dolls, but, um, today I thought I'd review something different. Um, I haven't reviewed any more my animatronics because... I sold one and I put away one. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna review my roaming Chucky doll here, and he's basically um, a roaming prop. He came from the year of Spirit Halloween 2018. He was not in the themes, I believe. But I thought I'd review this prop because it's one of my favorite props that I own. One of the best looking Chucky dolls out there now. I have a couple. I have the Spencer's one and the Spirit Halloween Good Guy doll. But this is probably the most detailed one out of the bunch. Mainly because of the detailing on the stitches. And here's the, here's his box. Comes with a, he Basically he says quotes from the movie and he runs around on the floor. Now he's not, he's not, um, he cannot roam on a carpet, which means I won't be able to show you guys his demo, but I'm going to just going to review the problem itself. Now, the face is nicely detailed. I like the gash in the eye, and this part of the eye is just regular, his teeth. His scars on his face. I like the st staples on his head right there. His hair is synthetic hair. It's not sculpted on. His knife looks kind of cheaply made, but it's it's got at least blood on it and stuff. Plus, this hand is bigger than this hand, which I find extremely weird. Plus, this hand's posable. But I wouldn't mess with it too much because it could break. His overalls look like they're on point. Got the good guy logo right there. Um, his overalls are cut right there. Now I thought I thought mine was cut on purpose, but it's like the way it is in the movie. So I'm like, oh okay. Um, this, this hand just a regular hand. Um, his shoes look pretty cool. Um, I like the cuffs as well. His shirt looks a bit too bright for my liking, but. It's okay. He still looks really, really cool. Um, now, well, and his setup was really easy. All you do is put his shoes on, put the pants over the thing that forms his legs, put the head and the arms, and this part is all uh, one piece, his head, hands, and so you put that on, strap his overalls up, fix his shirt the way you want it, and plug in this wire and to and put this wire together, and then you're good to go. So he's not that he's not hard to put together at all, but it's probably one of the most screen accurate Chuckies I I've ever owned. He's just really cool. I like Double Trouble better, but he's definitely a good one as well. Now, uh, maybe I could turn him on just for a little bit. I mean, he isn't from around, but let's see. I'm going to play like a couple of seconds of his audio. If I can find his on and off switch. Very cool prop. Now his price, I believe, was a hundred and ten bucks, which is not that bad in my opinion, especially if you use a coupon. Now a lot of people say he doesn't look as screen accurate as the Trick or Treat Studios Chucky doll from NECA or the one from um um uh, NECA or Trick or Treat Studios, 
But this is probably your best bet if you want to save your money. If you want it, it's Chucky. If it's not that one. But pick your poison is all, I get, is all, is all I'm going to say. It's your personal preference. But I think he's cool. He's definitely worth the price. He's pretty screen accurate if you ask me. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Let me know what you think of him in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.